Well, good morning. Welcome to Prayer on the Porch. Might be a little different today because usually the girls are doing this, but Angelia asked if I would come and uh, kind of share a thought with you. And so I said, absolutely. We just got in um, yesterday, and uh, we've been gone for two weeks, but we're back in the saddle. Looking forward to spending Sunday with you. Thanks to Travis and Tammy and Stephanie and, uh, and Dr. Lewis Kayton yesterday and everybody that's just been what we call holding the fort down. They've done a great job in the services. And um, I know a lot of our winter folks are coming back, so we're looking forward to, to seeing you here. Um, they told me I only had about two or three minutes to do this, so typically, so here we go. And so Angelia asked if I would kind of give the devotional today. Um, I was up at four this morning. I don't know why. I just couldn't sleep. And so my typically for me, I go and uh, get a cup of coffee, uh, go to my favorite chair. And um, I've been reading five chapters a day in the morning. And I'm in the book of Psalms. So what I would like to do is just share a couple thoughts this morning that God had shared with me. Just uh, read a couple scriptures out of Psalms. Psalms 61, 62, 63, 64, and 65. I'm not going to read all of them. Just going to take a couple scriptures out of this. Um, and this is what David says. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. Psalm 62. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock, my salvation. He's my fortress, and I will never be shaken. Um, sure, um, Psalm 63, O God, you are my God. Earnestly I will seek you. My soul thirsts for you in a dry and weary land. And then I thought this was kind of interesting, verse 6 of Psalm 63. On my bed I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. And that's what I was doing this morning because for some reason I was up at 4. And I tried to go back to sleep. I tried, and I couldn't. So I was thinking about God, thinking about things. It's just one of those days you just can't sleep through the night. I think the Lord just kind of kind of gets you up. And, and I love the morning time. And David continuously was saying here that uh, his soul, he, he earnestly seeks after him. My soul thirsts him, uh, hungers after you, after God. And I hope you have a hungry heart. I hope you have a heart that's thirsting for God. I tell you, every time I open this Bible and read in the morning, God just feeds me. There's just something supernatural, something spiritual, something, uh, a blessing. Reading God's Word and allowing God's Spirit to pour into your life uh, from His very Word. So this morning, as we are on the prayer on the porch, we just got finished praying for your needs. Uh, I just want to encourage you, seek after God. David was a man after God's own heart because he knew how to seek God. He was hungry for God. And uh, I pray that your heart will have that hunger and that thirst. In fact, Jesus says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. They shall be filled. And so as we have an appetite for God, um, and as we thirst after Him and seek after Him with all of our hearts, uh, you will be surprised the presence of the, the blessings, the hand of God, the favor of God that will rest on you. You'll sense God throughout the day. Very therapeutic. And um, so I encourage you to do that. We love you, and uh, we'll see you on Sunday. Got a good word for you this Sunday as we're finishing up Psalms 23. I've been studying this out, and um, I wish we I wish we had service tomorrow because it's in me. And um, I feel it stirring in me. So I look forward to seeing you. God bless you.